Here's a solid mechanics problem which explores the idea of finding the bending moment within a beam using Macaulay's method. So that is, we're trying to find an expression for m of x, where x is the distance from the leftmost side of the beam, which in this case is the root. And we're going to try and apply Macaulay's method to find a generalized expression for uh, m. And the first thing we have to do is, as usual, we'll have to find the reaction forces and the reaction moments. Now, in this case, we only have one place where reactions occur, which is at the root. So here we have a shear force, which we'll call Vr, and then we have the bending moment, which we're going to call Mr. Right? Now, this is a kind of question that you might see as a first year aerospace engineering student or uh, you could see this in your civil engineering degree or in your mechanical engineering degree and this is something that's usually done as i mentioned either in the first or in the second year and if you'd like to see anything similar to this on the channel let me know in the comments so the first thing i'll do is find the the reactive shear force so that's vr now, the way I drew it, uh, it's the only force which is acting upwards. So I have Vr minus, and then we have all the other forces, minus 20, minus 12, minus 8, minus 10, and that's equal to 0. So Vr will be equal to, so we can add them up. So we have 20 plus 10, 30, 30 plus 20, we have 50 kilonewtons. And that's the reactive shear force. Now, the other thing to do is to find the reactive moment. So if we take moments about this point, let's call this point A, then we're going to have that moments about point A, or the net moment about point A, is going to be zero. And I'm drawing this symbol here, which means that anything counterclockwise is positive and clockwise is, of course, negative. So about point A, we have a couple of things. We have minus MR, because I drew it clockwise. Then we have uh, the moment due to this 20 kN force. Uh, VR doesn't actually produce a moment, because it's passing through point A. So we've got minus 20 times 4, and then minus 12 times the moment arm of this force, of this 12 kN force, is 9. And then minus 8 times, so we have 9 plus 4, that's 13. And then minus 10 times, so we should have 13 plus 2, which is 15. And that's it. And that is equal to 0. So to find the moment, uh, to find MR, we just bring it to the other side and we calculate um, the total moment. So or the reaction, the reactive moment. So that is going to be uh, minus 80, and then minus 108, then minus 104, and then minus 150, and the total should be equal to minus 442, and the units kilonewton meters. Right, so the minus tells us that the direction we assumed, the initial direction we assumed for the moment is opposite to uh, to this. So in reality, this moment is counterclockwise. Right, so now that we have the reactions, we can uh, find the moment, we can prepare to apply Macaulay's method by finding the bending moment before the end of the beam. So I'm going to take a section somewhere here between the 8 kN force and the 10 kN force. And the reason for that is because this section is going to contain all the forces that are acting on the beam except for that tip load. right? So if I were to draw that out, I would get something like this. So this is the beam. Here we have VR. Here we have MR as well. Now, the, the actual direction of MR is opposite, but I'll keep it as we drew it here while considering uh, the sign to be negative. So, let's draw everything else as well. So, we have the total length of this beam is X. 
right? Because we're only considering that considering that green section, and then we have a point load at four meters, so that's going to be a twenty kilonewton force here. So that's four, and then we have another one a bit down the line at twelve. Uh, well, this is twelve kilonewtons, and the distance from here to here is five, and then we have eight kilonewtons. Let's make this a bit longer. So we have another four meters, and then we have the third force. So that's the eight kilonewton force. And that's four. And X goes all the way from the beginning to here. Now on this end, we have an internal shear force, which is V. And we have our uh, our bending moment MX. So the reason why we took a section through the beam is to look what happens internally and to be able to expose this MX that we're trying to find. Right, so let's call this point here point P. And I'm going to say that sum of moments about P is going to be equal to zero. Where again my counterclockwise moments are positive. So let's see what we have. We've got minus MR. Right, so this time we're taking moments about this green point here. So we have minus MR, and then we have minus VR times X. And then we have this, so this is this produces a counterclockwise moment, which is plus 20 times, and that's going to be X minus 4. And then we have plus we have 12 multiplied by x minus 9. Right, that's, the, that's the moment arm of the 12 kN force, that's x minus 9. And then finally we have plus 8 times x minus 13. And the whole thing, well, and then we of course have plus mx. So we also add, so on top of all those point loads and the reactive moment, we have the bending moment mx so now we just have to rearrange for mx and we have the following so mx equals so i keep mx where it is because it has a plus and i put everything else on the other side so we have mr and then plus vr times x and then minus 20x minus 4 and then minus 12x minus 9 and then minus 8 times x minus 13. 8 times x minus 13. Right, so to prepare for the Macaulay uh, procedure, for, for applying Macaulay's method, we're going to write, uh, the, we're going to rewrite those terms using the standard convention. So instead of MR, I'm going to write this as MR times, and this is going to be x, minus zero, so zero means where this moment actually occurs, to the power zero, and then plus vr. So instead of x, I'm going to write as x minus zero to the power one, and then minus 20 x minus four, minus 12 x minus nine, and finally minus eight x minus 13. So as of now, this equation for the moment only works for this section, uh, for the last two meters of the beam. So if we want to apply this for every point on the beam, we just have to use the sharp brackets. So this turns into mx equals mr, and this is x minus zero to the power zero plus, and then we have vr, x minus zero to the power one, minus 20 x minus four to the power one if you want, and then minus 12 x minus 9 also to the power 1 and finally minus x minus 8 x minus 13 to the power 1 and that's it now normally you would use this to find the deflection right so instead of writing this as being equal to the moment you also know that the moment is equal to the young's modulus times the second moment of area call this izz times v double dash where um, v double dash is the second derivative of deflection with respect to distance. So then you'd have to integrate this twice, 
use the boundary conditions, which we can actually see what the boundary conditions are from the fact that this is a cantilever beam. So because it's a cantilever beam, the boundary conditions are V at zero is equal to zero, and also V prime, so the slope at zero is also equal to zero. So we have two boundary conditions and those would help you to find the constants of integration after you integrate this expression here twice. But that's not really part of the problem. That's, you know, if you want to go further and find an expression for deflection, this problem just wanted us to look at the bending moment as a function of x. And that's the end of the question.